Route 66 ran from Chicago in the upper right to Los Angeles. It was made essentially obsolete by the freeway system. Dave Wyman of ImageQuest puts on a two-day photo workshop concentrating on the surviving Route 66 relics near Barstow. The photography began at Tom's Welding. Tom's is a full-service machine shop and welding company. But the owners have spent a lot of time and money collecting memorabilia from the old two-lane highway system. In fact, they have a huge collection of anything related to the open road. They must have 30 of these toy Tonkin trucks hanging overhead. It's a photographer's paradise with an unending supply and variety of objects to photograph. Dave has been bringing photographers here for over 10 years. We were given complete access to any place in the yard. As a finale, the owners started a little fireworks for us. Their welding torch. It gave us some great pictures. Nearby is a train museum and depot. One object of the two-day photography session was to provide us with a variety of unusual subjects to photograph. Dave's been exploring this area for years and knows just where to go. Near sundown, we headed out to a nearby patch of desert. This area boasted of a collapsed building buried in sand. This workshop provided two additional experienced photographers who shared their expertise both out on location and by giving lectures at night. This is Ken Rockwell. Simplify, simplify. But I'm always thinking simplify, so I get closer. Now once I've simplified it, then I'm thinking I have to balance it again, because if you usually cut something off one side, does a balance it, rearrange things. So it's always to simplify, to exclude things, and to get it to balance. In this case, the picture is simply a red bar, two black circles, and two red dots. It's not about truck tires. This is the truck junkyard down the street, which we'll probably see on a Sunday morning. A good photograph has to catch your eye from like 10 miles away, which it only does by the basics of color, shape. Once you've got someone looking at the picture, then you can start worrying about these things where you want to have the bright parts in the middle and so forth. The next morning, shortly after sunrise, we were out filming farm equipment. Then it was on to a dairy farm. We had breakfast, then headed east on Old Route 66 to the Desert Market, and then across the street to an old building surrounded by junk objects. The Baghdad Cafe has figured in a major motion picture and is part of the surviving nostalgia of Route 66. It even has a jukebox.
Down the asphalt road a bit is the old Whiting Brothers filling station. Photographers attended this workshop from all over the United States. There even was an attendee from England, from Canada, and from Malaysia. Just off old Route 66 is a crater. The rocks had been lava at one time. It looked like a moonscape. Dave served a picnic lunch out of the back of a van. Anybody else? There used to be a mining operation here, too. We had a short caravan of cars that moved from site to site. Roy's Motel and Cafe used to be a good place to stop for the night. The gas station is still operational. The motel is not. A vintage highway patrol car was parked out front. At dusk, Roy's is a pretty picture. There are a lot of minerals to be mined in the desert. We checked out a salt mining operation. Just after sunrise the next morning, we visited a used truck yard. So many colorful old trucks. We left the truck yard, had breakfast, and went to the Route 66 Museum. The final stop on our 48-hour photography marathon was a bottle tree farm. One bonus to a program like this is meeting new people and making some new friends. Oh, yeah.